Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Tech Pasito. Look, I know, I've been gone for a while, okay? I'm a busy guy. That don't mean I still home <laughs> play some artifact. I mean, I, it don't mean I don't still make some meme decks. In fact, we got a good one for you tonight, right here. That's right, ladies and germs, this one's a little special. Now, we have talked before about how our decks are more about having fun and less about winning. Well, that's never been more true for this one. This, this deck is pretty awful, but it is extremely fun to pilot. And for this week, for your viewing pleasure, may I present to you the Rolling Storm. All right, now, this is a fun one. Let's talk about movement and artifact. Now, movement's a big thing. You want to go from lane to lane, it has a lot of different uses. Uh, most people will talk about movement like getting out of a lane after you are exposed in Ancient. The importance of blink daggers, TP scrolls, that kind of shit's a big deal. This deck, though, focuses on a much different kind of movement. Let me ask you a question. Did you guys know about these cards that start in something called the combat phase? I believe is what it's called. I don't know. I'm not some kind of artifact expert, but let's talk about Luna. So her passive ability, every single time that the combat phase is beginning, her Lucent Beam goes off. Lucent Beam goes off, does one piercing damage, I believe, to any hero. Yeah. And it builds charges for her Eclipse. The more piercing damage that you get, you know, the more time that Luna's alive, the more charges that you get, which makes keeping Luna alive a pretty big priority. But did you know that Luna does this every single time that it starts and it builds those charges in every single lane. So, for example, if we have Luna in lane one and I blink dagger her to lane two, she will get another charge. Now, this doesn't seem like a big deal, but when you think about it, if you could just move her a few more times, she's only supposed to get one charge per entire round. Now we're beefing her up. Now we're getting eight charges, 10 charges, in games where you should never see that kind of charge ability coming from Luna. So, this is what Rolling Storm is all about. It's all about utilizing these ways to go from lane to lane to get these different effects. And the star of the show, the biggest boy of all, is our boy Storm Spirit. I don't see a lot of Storm Spirit boys. I really don't. Nobody plays this hero. He's Garbo tier. But he is very interesting and very fun when you get a hang of them. So let's talk about Storm Spirit's passive ability. It's called Overload. He gets two attack until the end of its next combat phase after you play a black card in any lane. Any lane, boys. That means if Storm's in lane three and I play any kind of black card in lane one and two, he will get boosts from it. Very strong. Also, his passive ability card is very good. Ball lightning move an allied black hero to an empty position in any lane. So many times I see Storm Spirits just playing this card in the lane that Storm's in. Don't gotta do that, baby. You got the entire board to work with. So you might be thinking, okay, I think I'm starting to see where you're going here. We've got some abilities that can be very strong with the ability to move different heroes around. That's where we get to Necrophos. Okay, nobody plays Storm Spirit. Fucking nobody out there playing Necrophos. This guy's garbage. Uh, his uh, passive ability, he gets plus one Permanent health every time something dies next to him, which is, if it sounds good, it's not. It's it's awful. But more importantly, Heartstopper Aura. This is what we're working with today. Black Hero does two piercing damage to enemy neighbors before the action phase. This is the heart and soul of Rolling Storm. It's just like Luna's ability. Every single time that you start combat phase in a lane, this thing's going to proc. Now, this is super strong if you can get more than one. If you get more, if you get one, two piercing damage, eh, but four piercing damage, six piercing damage, and may I remind you, you start in lane one, when the combat phase starts, six piercing damage, you move to lane two, six piercing damage, that's broken. That whole thing is crazy. And that is the strength of Rolling Storm. That is what we call it. Now this does have an alternate name, which probably will be on the title, and that is Cannot Touch This, because We've got Kana. Now, you might be wondering, why the hell is Kana in here? Why isn't this just a black deck with maybe a splash of a Luna? Kana's very important. We'll get to her why later. But, uh, I, I really do want to make my deck... Originally, this one did not have Kana. It had Sorla Khan with the much more appearing, uh, appeasing name. Can't touch this as the deck, but 
Then we made it to kind of touch this, and then I realized that that would sound really stupid. So, let's get into the specifics of the deck, and we'll move on and talk to you guys about it. Number one, Relentless Pursuit. Oh, God, is this card good. It is cheap. One mana. You get to move a unit from a lane to another lane as long as they're a black hero. Now, it does have a few weaknesses. Number one, you don't get to choose which black hero moves, which can be a pain in the ass. And although you get to deal two damage to the hero that you go, uh, any unit that you go to in your next lane, you also don't get to choose their position. So it can bite you in the ass too. But the strength of this card is so good in conjunction with Storm Spirit. Remember, any black card that you play gives him two damage. So the less mana intensive cards that we have, much like Relentless Pursuit, the more fun that we're gonna be able to have with Storm. He can ball out of control, pun intended, pretty quickly. So Relentless Pursuit is pretty much absolutely 100% needed in this deck if you wanna to try to make it work. And in conjunction with Heartstopper Aura, stuff like that, very fun to use. Travis! Oh, I love me Trebis. So many people don't love Trebis. I love Trebis, especially when you get two or three in the first flop. Oh my god! Trebuchets are just great. I love them. Two damage per tower, setting them early in the beginning of the game, great. But what makes these really good is that they capitalize on their weakness. Now, Trebby's weaknesses is if you don't get them early game, they're fucking worthless. Not in this deck, all right? This is another one mana black spell, and Storm Spirit gets really big. In the late game, you can pretty much just say, for one mana, Storm Spirit gets two damage. That's actually not that bad in certain scenarios. I love Trebbies. Keep these bad boys. A little bit of pressure, a little bit of lane push. Always good. Here's another one. Oh, unsupervised artillery. Four damage. Trebuchet's big older brother. As long as you have uh, a filled up lane. Again, another cheap spell for Storm Spirit that you can play anywhere on the map. And it does more tower damage, ensuring that you get that damage in the early game. And now we get to talk about why Kana is there. Kana's job is unsupervised artillery and some other stuff. Kata's ability to uh, make sure that the creeps always go into her lane and her signature card, summoning those dogs of war, make sure that you're always going to have a pretty filled up lane, which works really well with unsupervised artillery. And you'll be super surprised if you can get two of those in a lane doing eight damage per round, shit adds up pretty quick. It's basically one. Of course, if you're gonna have any blue card you need at any cost, just clear out a lane. Obviously very good. Uh, Luna does have enough HP uh, as well as Kana to be able to cast that and still live, which is pretty strong. But of course, if you're playing blue and you don't have resets, you're not doing it right. Ball Lightning, we talked about that. Very nice, especially if you can do it with Heartstopper Aura uh, allies on your team. Disciple of Neverborn. Okay, now we're getting really into Kana. Again, cheap black card major damage and works great in conjunction with Kana's abilities to have a bunch of creeps in one place and to go all in. The little dogs of war, yeah, they might be little pieces of shit, but when they're doing four damage, they're not too bad. When they're doing six damage with the Oath, they're real good. So, Oath and Disciple, these guys go in the lane that Kana is in. They try to net you an early tower as quick as possible because there is one weakness to this deck. Okay, well, there's several weaknesses to this deck. But this deck, she ain't great in the late game. We gotta be taking towers quick. We gotta be taking something quick. We gotta move, baby. This is a rolling storm. You don't wanna get to the end of the storm. People survive that. You wanna pound that shit, all right? <laughs> anyway, Slay. This is a recent addition to this deck. Uh, mostly this is anti-late game, and it's also during those pivotal moments. Slay's a very, very let's say high skill ceiling card because it, it's difficult to know it's difficult to know do i use the slay now at four mana to do 20 damage to this tower or do i save it to get a really sick quorum kill later that's up to you that's the skill of the player baby this card drives me nuts but it is very useful especially in this deck don't forget if you're clearing somebody that's blocking storm with massive damage you even get more damage for killing that creep so it's pretty nice we're on the week don't have to talk too much about that. Kana Dogs, Heartstopper Aura, we talked about that before. Remember, put this on any one of your black heroes. Don't try to just put on Necrophos, although he does do really well with it. We want to move these heroes around, especially in this deck. Storm Spirit is a very good person to put this on with his abilities to move very quickly around the map. So, like that very much. Heartstopper Aura is the heart of this deck. Six piercing damage when you move from lane to lane. Oh, it is good. Murder Plot! 
What an incredible card that nobody plays. Wanna know why nobody plays it? Seems like a waste. Eight attack this round, blah, 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 it's pretty good. Black heroes don't typically have problems getting rid of other heroes, so why would you pick this card? I give you a little, it gives you damage, sure, but black heroes typically kill uh, all the other cards that you want to kill. Storm Spirit, baby. Let's think this through. You put this card on Storm Spirit, not only does it get 8 attack, he also has his normal attack, which is 4. That's 12, plus he gets another buff of 2 for playing a black card. That's 14. 14 damage for 4 mana. That is unbel- That is a freaking Thunder Tide pack. A level 8 card, a game finishing card, 14 damage for 4 mana. And guess what? If you had 8 mana, enough to summon one of the packs, you could use 2 of these bad boys. I don't even know the math. That, that, what is that? 16 plus 4 plus 4? That's 24. That, that's a Thunder Hide Alpha, baby! For 8 mana! That shit's a discount. Shit's a deal. May I remind you, by the way, you could use Murder Plot in one lane, then move your hero to another lane and get more bonuses from that? That's right, baby. Very good card with Storm Spirit. This is a must-have, and this is your game winner right here. Love it. Annihilation, again, if we're playing any kind of blue, you need board resets. Very useful, very special, and we do have a bunch of Blink Daggers, so makes it pretty good. Eclipse, we are building this up by moving our Luna. Luna's gotta go. She gotta move. Lane to lane, baby. She gotta get the fuck out of there. Building up charges. You'll be surprised at how quickly you can get eight, nine, ten charges when you're moving her uh, several times in each lane. It's freaking great. It's incredible. Hootie cootie! You brainless. You be an idiot. It's hootie cootie. You press six, six mana, you kill somebody. I hate Phantom Assassin. I think she's broken. She ruins this game. You need no brains to use this card. Oh, condemn a card. Oh, this card should condemn three fucking cards. I hate this card. I hate PAE players, but I, this is the only deck she's ever going to be in because you have to actually have a little bit of skill to pilot this deck. So there you go. I'm not going to explain that for you. Cover of the night. Whew. This one. This here is a debate here. All right, this is a recent addition to this deck. I don't particularly like this card. I feel like it costs too much mana. I feel like it doesn't do anything. Seven Siege? Who cares? Four attack? Who cares? However, I do have one in the deck because there are those late game scenarios that, yeah, sometimes seven Siege is a lot. Sometimes you need to just pass through. There's a tower with two HP and you just can't break through the defenses. So there's one in the deck. If you want to take it out, go ahead. We're two cards over anyway. We got 42 cards. Ugh, got some coffee. It's killing me. But for me, cover of the night, I'm going to keep that as my just in case. Because, again, black cards don't have too much going on in the late game. Now, we could replace that with maybe a steam cannon could help. Maybe three steam cannons could help. But at this point, uh, I want to try to get my games over before we're at seven mana anyway. Six mana should be like, yeah, this game's done. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's go to items. Stonehawk Cloak. I always have this one if I have blue heroes and I'm playing uh, at any cost. It just helps out a lot, especially putting it on these kind of weaker black heroes. Stormfear's got six. Necro's got six. PA's got eight. So drop in one of these. Make sure that your black heroes don't die if you have to add any cost, which you will probably have to do in every single game. And it just makes those black heroes be able to live longer, which is very useful. If we're taking damage in lane 1 we want to move to lane 2 and lane 3, eh, they're going to take a lot of damage throughout the game. They need some HP. Blink Dagger, of course, is a necessity for Rolling Storm. We've got to move around. We've got to hit. we got to shit. we got to go. we got to go. we got to move. All the black heroes have easy ways to move around the map, so you're going to want to uh, prioritize these Blink Daggers on your blue heroes, uh, especially Luna, as we've talked about her uh, ability in this deck. Hell of the Dominator. Now... You don't see a lot of these in my decks, but this item in particular is our insurance against the late game. As I told you a hundred times, this deck does not have good late game. If you're up against a green uh, deck that has a very good spread and is summoning a lot of units, you're going to have a bad time, even with three slays. So, Helm of the Dominator, save that money. Save 19 gold at all times <laughs> to try to get something for that late game uh, business there. So uh, typically, if I'm losing a game really bad, I'll play an Annihilation, maybe get three hero kills, get enough for a Helm, and then I have a chance to come back. 
Vester as well. As I told you guys, we do not have a lot of defense. This is a very high offensive deck, and a lot of people are going to be dying. Vester in particular works really well with Heartstopper Aura too. You know, every time you spawn, every time we go, Luna, if you can't move her around, but you can kill her over and over again and have her respawn and keep doing hits, works just as well. So there you go. That is Rolling Storm. Is this deck going to be good? Is it going to win you a lot of games? It will win you a decent amount of games, but I'm not saying it's it's a real deck that you want to go in when it's time to win games. All right, This is a very fun deck. It's very interesting. And as you might not think so much so far, playing Storm can be an extremely rewarding experience, especially with a deck like this. So yes it is not a great deck but it is a lot of fun hope you guys enjoyed it by the way look at this guy right here he submitted his uh replay for the uh last deck pasito he won himself a little prize i hope i put somebody's name up there it's been a while <laughs> but if you want a prize this week for playing rolling storm the deck is copied in the description of the video you will get your own little prize. What do you have to do? I need to see some ridiculous ass damage on that Storm Spirit. I want to see over 20, baby. I want to see him rolling in the deep, killing the people, moving around that map. I will also take a very, very high Eclipse card. So thank you guys for watching. Coming up next is the gameplay video for Rolling Storm where I walk you through it. Hopefully I win. <laughs> I've been not having a lot of luck with this deck. Don't take me wrong, it is a good deck. I haven't I've been having a lot of luck, so maybe I'm going to lose. Who knows? Enjoy the video. Thanks a lot for watching Deck Pasito, and stay strong, artifactors. I'll see you there soon. To Deck Pasito, Rolling Storm. On this episode, I'm going to teach you how to play Rolling Storm. It's a very fun to pilot deck. can do a lot of different things. Hopefully, this will be a good one for you guys to learn. Ladies and gents, will you looky here? Let's take a look at the board here. Oh, very nice. Mazzy. Who picks Mazzy, for Christ's sakes? You pick a Mazzy, you, maybe it's your first game? I'm not quite sure. All right, so far, okay. Don't have any moves yet, but shit's about to get wild and crazy here. Shit's about to pop off. Danny Pop-Off's about to come in here. Boom, shakalaka, goodbye, Mazzy. So we got that kill with PA in round one. Feels pretty good. We got five gold, which is enough to heal our PA for round Two. Keep her alive with that healing sound. It's very nice. And it begins. Kana. What a decision here. This is a this is a big call here, boys. Look at that. Four damage creep. We could play Prey on the Week and get an early start here with a lot of stuff. Or we could have a lot of fun with Storm Spirit and do some more. So I'll tell you what. We're going to have some fun with Storm Spirit today. Because that is the point of the deck. Is to have a little bit of fun with Storm Spirit. So... Gonna be putting Akana in that second lane. We're gonna be. Hmm. Let me moving our boy Storm to do some uh, some nasty shit. Oh, is that what you're gonna do? Oh, you make me want to kill you. You really make me want to kill you right now. I can't do it, but I will return and I will murder you for this. We're gonna move Storm. Get the hell out. Woo! Into that last lane here. That's a lot of damage. Magnum Sanctum. What do you got for me, Boo Boo? Now, could that be a game losing move? We'll find out. Probably. I won't lie to you. Probably not a great move. That's a lot of door. <laughs> we'll get there. All right. So. Ooh. You know, I like those dogs so much. I brought my own dog. That's a lot of dogs! Now, of course, we don't know what this guy's packing. He could have something to block those doggies. I just like hitting the button. I don't really care. Kill all the dogs for all I care. Yeah! Make that money. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Alright, now. I told you guys this deck has some powerful cards, especially Murder Plot. Check out this damage. Boom, baby! Selfless defense, he says. Gonna heal the PA where she's gonna breathe, boy. Oh! That's a lot of damage. On round two, pretty good. All right, Necro, you got a real job to do here. I don't know how you're gonna do it, in fact. <laughs> Actually, do we just wanna sack that shit? I think we just wanna sack that shit. Uh, yeah! 
let's take this lane back in mid lane. Now, this is probably not the play. <laughs> we probably already ruined the game by not just dog in lane one. Uh, but didn't murder PA into the tower. That was a horrible mistake. You're right. Well, we're not using this game. That was awful. <laughs> I just so used to put it on Storm. Oh, no. Well, I, uh, how embarrassing. That's not good. In fact, that was real bad. Uh-oh. Igniting. Ooh, Prey on the Weak. Another one. That does make me feel good. Oh, an Ignite. That would ruin my Prey on the Weak. That makes me feel bad. There's a lot of feelings in this deck. Kind of want to play Disciple in this middle lane. But that would be a mistake now. That move ruined me. At least he's dead. That was a very lucky hit there. Big question here. Prey on the weak. They'll all die next round. But if I disciple, that doesn't get me anything. Let's Fuck it. Let's get some damage. Take the money. I'll take the 14 damage. Booyah! Felt pretty good. What's going on in here? Storm? You're gonna die here today? That doesn't sound like something Storm Spirit would do. Storm Spirit dies? Today? No. No, Storm Spirit doesn't die here today. Uh, I think uh, Storm Spirit moves slightly to the left here today. I think that's what Storm Spirit does. Give me that damage. Eight damage. Booyah! We're starting to go here. Now, we didn't get a lot of the cards that we really needed on this deck. I'll be real with you. We were looking for some unsupervised artilleries. We were looking for some trebuchon. This is a very concerning problem over here. But it's one that Luna will hopefully be able to take care of with a nice eclipse. <laughs> I mean, uh, annihilation. This is hyper con I am very concerned. But we can't let that concern go to our heads, boys. We, we can't be afraid of it. The troll soothsayer. She's come to bring wisdom. Not wisdom. That's scary. I don't like it when they bring wisdom. I don't have any of that. God, she has quite the sultry voice, I must say. What are you doing? What are you doing? Do you really think? Do you really believe you have a way to stop this? Do you really think the fans will come to a land without any team's brother? Are you really so naive? Well, that's some damage here. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot about that part. That's gonna hurt. Can we just kill everybody in this lane? Are we done here? I think we're done here. I think this lane is done zone. Uh, 4, 8, 12, plus 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 equals 24? I ain't going to math. No price is too high. No, it didn't. I something went real wrong on that one. Whatever. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> you know, it's fine. <laughs> you know, it's it, it, all right. It all right. If I. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and see if he has any cards uh, here to play. We put this cloak on just in case he had something. I'm, I'm afraid that he has something here. Disciple of Nevermore. Why don't, why don't you come out to play, baby? Oh, is that two plus two damage on Storm? I might not be good at math, but I'm pretty sure two plus two is four on top of the damage I already stacked, which is two more. Just try to hurt me. Don't, don't fucking do it. Don't fucking case, do it. Don't, don't fucking do it. Just can go ahead and do it. Kill yourself, boy! Look at that fucking storm spirit damage, homies. Look at that. Look at that shit. That's a lot. That's a lot of damage. I don't think I'm ever gonna make this episode. These games are all awful. <laughs> I either get shit 
on or I, I'm really shitting on it. What just happened? A TP scroll auto bot itself. Gabe knew we're watching the game and he's like, yo, bro. You don't need this. You don't need this shit. Stop what you're doing. You don't need this shit. Don't touch anything. How many charges we got? Four charges? Three, six, five charges. Wow. Me putting this Luna in this lane was such a play, boys. It gives us the extra eclipse that we need to do some Buku Mada damage. What do you got, bitch? What do you got? Show me what you got. I got nothing. I don't have a single thing I passed. I passed. I have nothing. There's nothing I can do here. Why, 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 what up? What up? There's nothing I can do here. I passed. I don't have Eclipse. The game's over for me. It's over. I, I have literally... There's nothing I can do here. There's nothing I can do. You bitch. How much HP do we have on that? Oh. No! Oh, no! <sighs> okay. Okay, fuck you. Do it again. Hit me again. Hit me again. Give me another one of the Thunder God's Wrath. Go ahead and waste your time in this garbage game. You're dead! Your family's dead! Hit it again! Do it! <laughs> oh, oh, she's gonna shoot her! <laughs> she gonna shoot her! She played me! She played me like a god! Holy woly, I'm in trouble. I forgot I can't even eclipse in this lane. <laughs> I can't open it here. <laughs> Yikes. Blink dagger. Yikes. And guess what, though? You're on a time limit, Haas. TikTok, baby. You got two rounds to win this game. Good luck. Oh, Trebbies. You're my favorite card in the game. <laughs> You've got two rounds to win. I know that it feels real lame. Such a shame. Oh, Trebbies, my friend. You're gonna win me this little game. Don't listen to Swim, cause he don't know what he is talking about. Oh, trebuchets, you'll win this game. Go, friend, and treb. Ah. What the fuck are you gonna do, boy? That's a lot of money! <laughs> That's a lot of items! Go, boy! What are you gonna do? Hmm? Hmm? Anonymous? What are you gonna do here? You gonna kill me? You gonna kill me? You can't kill me, boy. Do it. Do it. Do anything you want. I got a hootie cootie with your name on it. Bring me the lamp. Bring me the lamp. Do it. Do it! Bring me the lamp, Aladdin. <laughs> I've lost my goddamn mind. I hope you're having fun watching this game. I'm pretty sure this is the one we're gonna use. Bring me the lamp, Aladdin. Bring it to me. Don't surrender. You take this like a me assassinate. You're gonna shoot me, bro! <laughs> oh, I'm dead. It's over. Get up! No! There's so many cards! There's so many! I'm gonna kill that thing! I'll get you for this bitch! I'll get you for this bitch! You'll pay for this! <laughs> 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 I 
crap, he's coming. There's no hope for you. There's no hope for you. Trebby's coming. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. Cunning plan all day. Unless you got two Thunderhide Alphas in there. Unless you got two Horn of the Alphas in there, you got nothing. Three rounds ago. This round, this round, this round. You gotta have some Boku damage. Can you do? No. I'll go ahead and draw this. Two lock. Gracious. You ain't got shit. You need to win this round. Right here. Do it. Do it. I know you ain't got shit. In fact, I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you with a good luck. Oh. oh, you think that matters, baby? This is piercing damage, you dumb piece of garbage. It's over! This place needs a little team folk love. Very nice, Mazzy. I have to say, you're quite the strong hero. I wonder why no one plays you. So intelligent. So smart, sir. Oh, Mazzy. Oh, Mazzy. Simply unbelievable, sir. Simply unbelievable, Mazzy. Incre incredible. Incredible. Now I'm upset. Now you've really done it. Now you've really done it. You've angered me. Put on that high pass music. You don't have a lot of options here, boy. You ain't got a lot of options here. I'm gonna make this a very easy choice for you. Here's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna put every single hero into this first lane so that this dude has to annihilate. He's just gonna, he's gonna, what the hell? Uh, no, no, don't do this. Give it to me. Let me see it, you fucking coward. No. Thanks everybody for watching Deck Pasito. <laughs> send a uh, rolling storm. Don't forget to uh, send in your emails uh, and uh, win with the game. Of course, just need a uh, storm spirit game where you have more than 20 damage on the storm or you have a whole lot of eclipse charge. It's been a pleasure. See you guys later. Bye.